Hey everybody, <clears throat> I just have a couple quick thoughts for you and I think this is something that I've talked about before in this group, but what do you do when you're thinking to yourself, I don't really think I can talk about that product or share about it or teach somebody about it because I don't use it myself. And this is something that I've thought, something that I know many of you have thought before. So let's address this. <clears throat> the reality is this, there are lots of things that I don't use in life um, even beyond oils that would benefit other people. Um, so many things, but like, let's talk about oils specifically. Um, hey, Em, um, like Gary uses Intune every day. I do not. I do not use Intune. Focus is not an issue for me. Um, but just because I don't use it doesn't mean I wouldn't say to somebody, hey, if you struggle with focus, this is your blend. This is how you're going to use it. Because it could be life-changing and life-giving for them. Okay, so um, another example... Um, well, I hope this isn't the case. Maybe some of you aren't on Lifelong Vitality Pack. Well, you still have to teach people about it because for like 99% of the people that I work with and help, it's the life-changing product for them. Like that, like there are no words. Okay, so just because you don't have a personal experience or it's not a product that you use every day doesn't mean that you can't say, like I don't use Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex yesterday or <laughs> every day, but I just... Um, we shared about it for Wellness Wednesday and helping people learn, how, hey, this is how you use it and how, this is what it looks like. So I think it's important to step out of yourself and out of your own like, oh, wait, I don't think I really know about that product because as you do, people will be really, um, hey, Holly, hey, Katie, as you do kind of step out of that insecurity of like, I don't know about this product or I don't really use it, just like step out of that, move past that because it's about the customer and not about you and that could really benefit them. So, um, don't get too hung up on your how much or how little you use the product. Um, it's not about you ultimately. Remember, it's about the customer and it's about the people that you're trying to help. So don't get stuck on that. Don't get held back by that um, because people are missing out then on um, what they can learn and use. Uh, yeah, Katie says, I think it's important to be courageous enough to say, I don't use this and here's why I think... I'm learning. It would be great for you. Be real. Yeah, I think it's totally fine. Um, you know, I don't necessarily use this every day, but here's how you would use this. I just think that um, everything that doTERRA, every single product that doTERRA offers is absolutely fabulous. Is it realistic that probably every one of us are using every single though, one of those products on a regular basis? No, because we're in different seasons of life and we're in different, like, air, you know, that's that's not realistic, but they're all amazing. So don't, like, don't, don't be myopic in your focus. Remember the whole picture and remember it's about the customer. Yes, agreed. Marla makes a really good point. Everybody relax. Everybody's body is unique. We are made unique. So therefore, oils interact with each one of us differently. Like for some people, for stomach issues, digest zen might be their jam. Others, it might just be straight fennel or straight peppermint or cardamom or coriander. There are so many options. Myopic, Emmy you would make fun of me. I'm just kidding. She's not making fun of me. So that's my charge to you today. Step outside of your comfort zone in that and don't hold yourself back because ultimately your customers need you and your potential customers need you and they need your care and they need your support and help and they need these amazing oils and products because what would our life be without these products? I don't even like to entertain that thought. All right, that's it for today. Keeping it short, keeping it real. Have a great Thursday and hopefully you'll hear from me soon. Bye everybody.